Hi everyone! So I'm back. I wanted to do a wax melt empties video today. Um, we're in a little bit of a different spot today. We're in our my bedroom and this monstera plant is temporarily here because it's its regular home is usually in our living room where we put our Christmas tree up. So now it's right here so it looks like I'm in a little jungle. But anyway, um, so I decided I was gonna do a wax melt empties slash what I am carrying over of my Christmas stash in one video. But then I come to realize like I think that's gonna be way too long of a video if I go over like a month of not doing empties. And I figure like this is already a pretty big stack as it is. So I thought maybe I'll just do like a two-parter. I'll do the first half of December. Well, is it even midway through? I guess almost midway through December um, of what I've worn so far. And this is pretty much purely, um, purely Christmas scents. I'm putting my other stuff in a different basket that doesn't really have to do with Christmas scents. Um, and I'll do that at a later point in time. So this is what I've melted so far of my Christmas stash. Then, then I'll do at the end of December, beginning of January, the second wax melt empties with whatever else I've warmed of the holiday scents. Plus probably what I'm carrying over to next year, just depending on how long the video is. But anyway, so that's what I've decided to do. So let's just begin with the Christmas wax melt empties I have so far. Oh, yes, you want me to pet you, Mochi. Um, so the first couple things I'm gonna start with are clam shells. I think I'm gonna start with my clams, then I'm gonna go into items from vendors that I have like the most quantity of, then I'll end with kind of like the little items and sample kind of items. So the first thing I, whoop, Yes, mochi. The first thing I have is sugared cranberries, and this is a Target brand wax melt from Threshold. This was so good. I really, really enjoyed it. It was super, super strong. Um, oh, so good. A really tart cranberry juice kind of a scent. Really, really nice. Definitely not like a mold deep cranberry with spices. It was a tart cranberry juice and it was really good. Very strong. So I really enjoyed this. If I saw this again at Target, I might pick it up. I have so much wax melts that I shouldn't, but it was really good. The next one I have is again from Threshold Cypress Sage. This again was really good, but when I warmed it, it actually didn't really scream holiday Christmas to me. It was way more on the lavender side than the fur. Really good though. I mean, maybe a tiny bit of fur, but when I warmed it, it was way more lavender. I did these, oops, I did um, this scent in my, both of my bathrooms and it came out super strong, really good. And actually it was really nice in the bathroom because it kind of smelled relaxing a little bit. Um, so yeah, this was really good, no complaints. Again, if I happened to be at Target and saw that, I might pick it up again, but I have no reason to be picking up more wax melts. Okay, this is one that I did not feature in my Christmas collection because I ended up finding it later. This is a really old wax melt item from Target from Chesapeake Bay. They used to have this um, brand a while ago, but I haven't seen it for a really long time. So this was three different scents. There were two um, melts in each row. Um, I really enjoyed it. So this has to be at least a year old, maybe even more. Um, I love them all. The Woodland Berries was really pretty. That was the only one that I had two melts of. The other two scents, I just had one. So the Woodland Berries I did in both of our bathrooms one day, really good. It came out really nicely. Under the, Chris under the Tree and Silver Bells. I can't remember which one, but one of them smelled a little bit cleaner, a little bit like a laundry fresh scent. It was really good. I really liked it. Oh, I think I made a note. I think Silver Bells might have been maybe a little bit more cinnamony under the tree. I think was maybe slightly laundry-like, 
but I really enjoyed it. This whole thing, even though it's like a year or two old, um, still through wonderfully. It was really good. Um, again, I don't know if you can even get this brand still at Target or if it's still around, but I really liked that brand. I wish they still had it. Um, this little bin has my little sample size item, so we'll go through that last. Um, the next clump we will do, I'll kind of start opposite. I feel like I always do like L3 last. Let's just start with L3 today. The first thing I have is Frosty's Freeze. I think this was a two-pack Bunts, Buttermints Candy Cane Vanilla Buttercream. This was so good. I really enjoyed this. I feel like the mint was really nice and prominent. Sometimes with like the buttermint and candy cane, I feel like those aren't as strong of mint scents, but it was really good. Um, you definitely got the mint. And I would say actually the bakery, like the buttercream was more in the background. It smelled more like a relatively strong mint. Hi Mochi, Mochi is laying on the bed. So I don't know if you can hear her like breathing, <laughs> but um, yeah, this was super good. I didn't necessarily pinpoint like that it was candy cane. So in general, like if I saw this again, I'd, I'd consider picking it up. It, it didn't scream necessarily like holiday Christmas. It was just a really nice mint scent. Really good and a pretty decent throw. I definitely smelled it. Um, the next one was putting up the Christmas tree. This is Vanilla Balsam Winter Linen Vanilla Bean Noel. This must have been a puppy pack. Um, this again was really good. I actually really enjoyed it because it was definitely not heavy on like the balsam scent. This to me smelled way more like a laundry clean fresh scent. Um, and that was pretty much it. I don't really think I pinpoint the vanilla bean Noel. I also like, I don't think I got much of a balsam tree note at all. Definitely heavy on the winter linen. So if you like winter linen or the laundry clean fresh scents, you'd enjoy this. Don't get this expecting the vanilla balsam to be really prominent. Um, but I actually really liked it because even at this point of the year, I'm already starting to get a little Christmas treed out. Um, so I actually kind of like that it was pretty much just a clean laundry scent. Threw really well. Um, I felt like it lasted a pretty long time. Um, I guess I'd maybe pick that up again, like if I saw it maybe next year or something for the holidays, but I have a lot of other like laundry clean fresh scents that I don't think I'd like automatically like go on the L3 website and look for that scent, but it was really good and I enjoyed it while I warmed it. The next one is Cookies Under the Tree, Candy Canes, Fraser Fur, Sugar Cookies, and Gingerbread. What was this? Must have been a two-pack bunt. Um, this was okay. It wasn't my favorite. Um, I think I'd like the notes more individually than together. So Candy Cane, Fraser Fur, Sugar Cookies, Gingerbread. I come, I kind of come to realize I have a lot of like candy cane, Christmas tree kind of scents and sugar cookie kind of scents, but I think I like them. Basically what I'm trying to say is I think I'd either like a mint scent, a Christmas tree scent or a bakery scent on their own, but mixed together. I don't know if it's my favorite thing in the world. Um, to me, for some reason, the Fraser fur comes out as a little bit more of a fresh green. Like, I think I said it smelled maybe a, a little bit more like a grass kind of a scent than like a true Christmas tree. Um, and the gingerbread, it was okay. I kind of also come to realize I don't think I love the gingerbread scent note. So this one was just okay. I mean, I didn't mind it while I warmed it, but I don't think this is one that I would get again. It was okay. Um, enjoyed it while I warmed it, but not an immediate repurchase or anything. This next one, Cookies with the Clauses, Santa's on Keto, Mrs. Claus's Cookies, and Sugar Milk. This was a two-pack bunt. Um, this was an interesting one for sure. I, I don't remember smelling this on cold when I first initially hauled it, but this was back in August. I wrote the date up here. So I don't know if maybe I didn't smell much or it needed time to cure because on cold when I smelled it recently, I completely got like a sour milk scent. I've never had that like happen to me before. I've never really noticed a sour milk scent with that sugar milk kind of a scent note, but I completely got it this time around and it was like not a good scent. It honestly made me really nervous to melt it. 
I will say it ended up being better on warm. It definitely smelled like a little bit more sweet and not so much of that ugh, yucky sour milk note. But I still feel like because it smelled like that on cold, I don't feel like I'd be inclined to buy this one again, at least not right away. I mean, Cookies with the Claws is if I saw that name again next year, I mean, I might buy it because it just sounds so cute. But yeah, I don't know. I <laughs> I think based off of the name, I would want to buy it, but then I'd go and read the scent notes and I'd be like, oh yeah, that was that sugar milk scent. So yeah, I don't know. It's, I'm, I don't mind it as much on warm, don't like it on cold, but yeah. So this is okay. I will say too, like, it's not like a super strong performer. It's better on warm, but it's not that noticeable, so... The next one was a Trig Tart in Gingerbread. And that's what this looks like. This was really strong. The spices come out. Also, I didn't don't know if you guys noticed, but a lot of her um, Trig Tarts have that like sniff hole. Not this hang hole, but there's like a sniff hole in the back. So when I've been noticing that, I just put a piece of tape over it. But anyway, this was okay. I liked this gingerbread better than the gingerbread from the bathing garden. But again, this is kind of what made me realize I don't think I love gingerbread, especially like not by itself. It's okay. It's kind of a little bit more of a spicy scent. Definitely not overly sweet. Um, but yeah, it was okay. Not my favorite. I'd say medium to strong throw, but not like an immediate repurchase or anything. The next one I have, and the last one I think out of like the bigger bags from L3 is Eggnog White Elephant Exchange Gingerbread, and this was a Bitty Betty Loaf. Um, this one, this is another one where I just, it was good. I enjoyed it while I warmed it. I don't think the gingerbread is my favorite note, so this isn't like an immediate repurchase. Um, definitely strongest on the gingerbread note. I I didn't really get much eggnog in this blend and the white elephant exchange probably just meshed well with it but gingerbread was the predominant note on this one so yeah it was okay um also sorry it is 353 so it's about that time where like the sun is setting so i don't know if throughout this video if it's gonna get darker and darker but i figure it's probably okay because it's just a wax melt empties video but sorry if the lighting gets a little darker throughout this video um, then the next three I have are Southbound Bakery Bags. Let me scoot over a little bit. Southbound Bakery Bags that I have repackaged. So the first one is Gingerbread Cream Puffs. These are all gingerbread blends. So sweetened gingerbread, um, buttery pastry dough, creamy vanilla custard, sweet cream and confectioner's sugar, and a hint of spice. So again, that's what that looks like. This was good. I didn't mind it. Um, like I enjoyed it while I warmed it, but I kind of wrote like it wasn't too memorable. Like I enjoyed it, but it wasn't anything that makes me go like, oh, I need this right away. But it was good. Um, probably like a light to medium throw. This one to me wasn't super strong. I smelled it, but I didn't like walk into a room and immediately like was hit in the face with it or anything. Slight spice on warm. I guess Southbone's gingerbread is probably the most sweet though out of like L3 and the bathing garden. It's not as like savory gingerbread spices. It's, it is a bit more on the sweet side, which I like. Um, but yeah, this was okay. Um, probably wouldn't rebuy this next year out of all the gingerbread scents from her, but again, enjoyed it while I warmed it. The next one is Gingerbread Man Latte, Gingerbread Cream Swirled Latte. Um, this one was good, a good sweet gingerbread with a tiny, tiny hint of coffee. I feel like the latte, I mean, just like in real life, a latte is like a creamy coffee, like a creamy milky coffee. Definitely not like super, super heavy coffee flavor and that kind of translate on translate on the scent notes as well like it's not a super super strong in your face coffee scent so it was good I enjoyed it this one was kind of in line with the gingerbread cream puffs like I enjoyed it while I warmed it but to me it's like not anything like too too special where I need to like jump to repurchase this immediately and this is again another to me like light to medium blend I smelled it but it wasn't like bam in my face or anything like that 
And then the last southbound one I loved. This was Grinch cake, gingerbread cake pops, and frosted sugar cookies. And I feel like I liked this one probably because it's like the sweetest bakery mixture, cake pops and frosted cookies with the gingerbread. Um, definitely liked it much more on the bakery side. In fact, it almost kind of reminded me of like a buttercream or like frosting scent. So I guess maybe that must be the frosted sugar cookie scent note coming out a little bit heavier. Um, there was gingerbread, but it was like definitely a sweet sweet gingerbread like cookie kind of a scent so I really like this and this is one that if I saw again next year I would rebuy um so that was my L3 and southbound then we'll do this next clump of items which is like I don't know a mixture of different things um so we'll start with the vintage chic scent on top this one is Christmas time with Jackie O sugar cookies christmas trees and a hint of peppermint vanilla bean cake topped with whipped marshmallows this was good actually it was kind of like the peppermint first then a little bit of the sugar cookie then the tree in the back so i actually didn't mind this one as much as what was the other one that i melted um like cookies under the tree that was a candy cane fraser for sugar cookie gingerbread scent where I was like, those, I think I like the scents individually. This one I liked because it was heavier on the sugar cookie and peppermint. So it reminded me more of just like a cookie bakery mint scent, which I do enjoy. I'm glad the Christmas tree wasn't super strong. Um, in fact, I didn't even really notice the Christmas tree at all, which is why I think I enjoyed this scent a little bit more than like other scents with the um, like Christmas tree scent note mixed in. Um, but yeah, I really liked this. This was really good. Um, I feel like too, after a while, the peppermint started going away and then I even got more of the cookie, which I enjoyed. Um, so I liked it when I jumped to repurchase this one. I mean, maybe next year, but what I liked about it was more that I just smelled the peppermint and sugar cookie. So in that sense, I would probably buy a blend with those notes in them and not be like, Oh, I need this exact one that also has like um, the Christmas tree scent note in it. But it was good and I enjoyed that one while I warmed it. The next one is Merry Christmas Baby Eggnog Yellow Cake and Zucchini Bread. Oh, this was so good. I really, really enjoyed this one a lot. I would say it was way more heavily um, scented with the zucchini bread and yellow cake. This one, I, I don't think I really pinpointed the eggnog, maybe lightly. But when it was warming, way more the bakery, zucchini bread, and cake note, which I really liked. So I love this one. In fact, even this year, if I saw it again, maybe I would get it. But at that point, this is another one where I feel like I would just look for a zucchini bread and like cake cookie mixture and not necessarily have to get this blend. But I did really enjoy this while I warmed it and it was strong. Then I have a few rose girls. So the first one is hot cocoa and Cuban tobacco. This was like a mini melter mini bag. So this was from a, um, what's it called? Big Kahuna box I got in the summer. So I think there was like six or eight mini melter chunks in here. Um, I have no idea when this was poured. Um, there are no dates or anything like that. So I'm not sure, but I warmed it so good. I love that chocolate Tootsie Roll scent note. So I really enjoyed this and it was strong. I don't know what Cuban tobacco is really supposed to smell like, but I didn't smell it. This was predominantly like that artificial Tootsie Roll chocolate note. And I really liked it. And I feel like chocolate notes tend to last a long time. So that one was a pretty long lasting one. Then I have Santa is Speechless. And this was that big like snowflake shape that came in the Speechless sampler. Um, this was so good. I kind of did get, I think someone asked in her Facebook group what the tree note was in here. I think she said it was balsam. I can't remember though. I got that a little bit on, um, cold, but when I warmed it, it was mainly just the speechless, um, scent notes, which I forget exactly what it is, but I know it's like Satsuma and something else. And I think out of the speechless, I definitely got that like oranginess from the Satsuma. Um, I loved it. I love that like clean, bright Satsuma scent. So I thought it was really good, but I feel like if you're looking for that mix with 
the like tree note and speechless it was way more heavy on the speechless that one i did in the bathroom it was a great blend for the bathroom the next one is one item from the pharmacist's daughter and this is cozy cabin icy peppermint crackling birch white birch and vanilla this one i got in i got it in when did i get this so there is no scent scent no no pour date on it i mean hmm I feel like this is like one of my first orders with the pharmacist's daughter that I got this in maybe. So I don't know, maybe September. This was good, not my favorite. Um, I actually kind of come to realize I don't love like the birch scent notes. So this one has crackling birch and white birch. So it was okay. Um, <clears throat> surprisingly, I feel like this actually ended up being a little bit light on warm, which I'm kind of shocked because of the icy peppermint and birch scent. I just thought it would be like a powerhouse. But I didn't notice it like too too strongly but at the same time like I don't really mind because it wasn't like my favorite scent on cold either so yeah that was okay definitely not a repurchase on that one I have one teddy bees and this is Santa Claus is coming to town the smell of fresh baked cookies candy canes and Christmas trees so this is another one like the l3 cookies under the tree with the candy cane tree note and cookies where like I think the blend together just d didn't didn't mesh well with my nose. I just, something about it I didn't love. Definitely not my favorite on cold. Then I thought maybe it'll come out better on warm, but I still didn't love it. Um, I think I got maybe more of the sugar cookies or the fresh baked cookies and candy cane. But I'm not sure if I like her cookie note. I don't know. Yeah, on cold, I feel like you definitely get the peppermint. I don't know. Something about it, like these oils, it just wasn't my favorite. Um, and this is the only Teddy Bees I've worn so far, so I don't know. I really have high hopes for like other Teddy Bees scents that I got. Um, but yeah, this one just, I don't know. It just wasn't my favorite. I also feel like this one wasn't super strong personally. Um, like I didn't really notice it too much, like maybe a little bit of that like peppermint, but yeah, I don't know. One little mini muffin pie cake from Sassy Girl Aroma, and this is Drunken Elves Eggnog Whipped Cream Sugar Cookie Nutmeg. This was so good. This really does smell like eggnog. I mean, it's been so long since I've had eggnog. I I don't like to drink eggnog so I don't know I haven't smelled it in quite some time but when I smelled this like on warm it immediately like brought me back to an eggnog scent um very strong throw and pretty long lasting I'd say definitely half a day like probably like six to eight hour mark um <clears throat> really good I really enjoyed that I would even consider getting this again, or maybe just an eggnog scent from Sassy, Sassy Girl Aroma. Her eggnog is very good. Um, one from Zape Snowball Fight. This was Crisp Winter Air Fireplace Smoke Hint of cr Crushed Candy Canes. Um, this was good. Um, you first kind of get like that green kind of tree note. Yeah, it almost smells on cold at least of like a little bit of like a grass green note personally so um yeah I wrote kind of like a grass green note a little bit of the candy cane maybe a little bit of the fireplace in the background but mainly it's a tree scent um so yeah this was okay again not one that like I completely crave because it was pretty much just a tree note but this is something where like next when next year comes around like I might just grab it again if I want a few like Christmas tree tree notes so yeah it was good I enjoyed it while I warmed it don't need more this year but I enjoyed it while I warmed it then I have two souls inspiration ones I think both of these are from that fall mega mystery box that I got so this one is cranberry apple marmalade, tart cranberries, sweet apples, and sugar. This was really, really, really beautiful. I loved it. It was a super strong throw. Oh, so good. I almost get a little bit of like a um, spice note too. Like an apple spice kind of a note. It's really, really good. The cranberry apple marmalade, so good. 
such a strong throw. I really enjoyed this. That was great. I don't know if you can get it. So um, I've kind of looked into Soul's inspiration every once in a while, but I'm not sure like exactly her business model. Like I don't know if she's really doing restocks anymore. I looked on her website and it said like email to place an order. So I, I'm not quite sure, but I really enjoy the Soul's inspiration that I wore. Um, I just don't know like if she's still like pouring wax or doing restocks very often. I don't know. Let me know if you guys know. Um, and then this last one is Where the Orchard Meets the Forest, Sweet Vermont Honey Apples, Thick Pine Trees. This again, really good. A great mix of the apple and the pine tree. Um, I smelled both evenly and this again was really strong. I feel like sometimes it's like one or the other. Either you get too much apple or you get too much tree note, but beautiful mix. Okay, now we have the little samples to go over. So let me just start with my little like scent shot cups that I have right here. So I have two Sassy Girl Aroma samples in Cran Pear Bellini. These were so good and so strong. I did these in my bathroom. Like this is a perfect size melt for my bathroom, especially because since it's only one little sample, um, I only have one warmer in my bathroom and it's kind of like its own room, you know? So I don't have to really worry about it like meshing and mingling with other things unless it's that strong and goes into our bedroom. But anyway, so good. I actually bought a brittle of Cran Pear Bellini because I liked how this smelled so much on cold. And I'm happy to say it performed very well and very strong. So I really, really like that. And I'm happy I have a brittle on the way. Um, on the op opposite spectrum, this is one more Sassy Girl Aroma in Sleigh Bell's Ring. I don't even know what this was supposed to smell like. I didn't smell it like at all on cold and I like didn't smell it on warm. I guess now that I'm smelling it a little bit, it smells like it might be like a Christmas tree scent mixed with a mint, but I don't know. I didn't smell it at all when it was warming. And then I have a scent shop from Soul's Inspiration in All the Fall Feels Harvest Festival River Court Pumpkin Marshmallow. Um, this one, I don't know. I feel like it was like slightly fruity and a little bit Christmas tree like. Maybe like a cranberry or something or like an, a cherry almond pistachio note. And like a tree note. I don't know. This was a, this smells good on cold, but I don't know. I didn't get a whole lot on warm for that one. Um, okay. Then I have a few um what are these called breakaway bar kind of things from glow sense candle co the first one is in wassail or wassail oh i just dropped it um and i don't i'm not sure what the scent notes are on this i hope you can read it and it's not too dark it's kind of like a holographic label so um this was really pretty on cold it smelled like a very pretty like the fruit part of a potpourri really pretty um but i have to say it wasn't super like strong or like long lasting it was really pretty while i smelled it but yeah it was i i probably wouldn't get it again from this vendor like i said like i like glow scents but it's not there are so many other vendors that i feel like i would be inclined to make a purchase from more and like glow sense isn't very like active on social media so i just it's one of those vendors I, I sometimes like forget about but um i don't know it's good they have a lot of sense so yeah that was okay that one wouldn't be a repurchase the next one is fraser fur and this is exactly what you think it is it's just like a pure christmas tree scent um and this was good this was strong while i warmed it and it smelled like a christmas tree the next one is Frosted Juniper, and that's what that one looks like. This was really pretty, like a really nice holiday scent. I feel like, again, it was kind of like a Christmas tree, winter berry kind of a scent. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed it while I warmed it. Then we have Frosty the Snowman, which this was, um, this was super good. It almost reminded me of like a cologne type scent, so I'm not sure if her like I don't know if she had like a colony or masculine kind of scent note in here. A I, I remember looking up the scent and it said something like minty, woody, woody, clean, fresh. I don't know. 
but it was really good actually I really enjoyed it um I didn't get like a mint scent on warm so I was kind of surprised when I saw that in the scent notes like I said it smelled more kind of cologne -y. so I did this one in the living room but then I had like a bar a uh, little cube or two left and I ended up doing that in my husband's bathroom and it was nice I enjoyed it I have a few samples from uh the bathing garden so the first one is cranberry fig and I guess this one I didn't write scent notes on but it was a really really nice cranberry scent and I'm fairly positive that I got this again this year like I think I hauled it in my bathing garden winter haul and I really liked it I'm so glad I got it this was a very like tart smelling cranberry yeah it is really good it was great, honestly, very strong and was kind of leaking out of my bathroom when I warmed this little sample of it. So I am super, super excited and glad that I have a full size um, wax tart. The next one is Tinsel Forest. And I have two of these because I had gotten like, I had ordered twice from the fall collection. So I got two samples in like each of my order. So this is like orange orange zest fir cinnamon pom pomegranate pine leaves and clove so i kind of wrote the scent notes on the corner over there i don't know if you'll be able to read it because it's so small but this was really pretty i would say more like tree forward with like the pine and the fir and a tiny bit of that like orange zest just a like a little of that orange zest the fruit definitely came out more like on warm so i got like more tree on cold but it was kind of tree and then the fruit on warm. Since I had two samples, I just did these in like two tea light warmers in my kitchen. And I thought it was a very solid throw, like a medium to strong throw. So very good. And I'm fairly positive I got that in a clam as well in the winter collection. Then I did tinsel, which I think this is another one where I had two samples of. So I feel like I might have talked about this in a different wax melt empties video maybe like one or two empties ago I thought this was really strong filled up my whole kitchen and living room area with the sample on a tea light warmer and I think I mentioned before like this is way stronger on like the peppermint leaves to me I think it's supposed to be like peppermint leaves and maybe like pomegranate and like strawberries or something some kind of other fruit note too but I pretty much just got the peppermint leaves kind of an herbal peppermint scent and I enjoyed it while I warmed it, but because I had samples of this, I ended up passing on getting this in the winter collection just cause like the peppermint leaf scent isn't my favorite, like mint scent. I like more of like a crisp mint, more than like that herbally, like Vicks vapor rub kind of a scent. Um, but yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it while I warmed it and it was a good performer. Then I have Cindy Lou Who, which I did pick up in the winter collection. I almost didn't because I don't love the powdery scent, but I just had to because it was so pretty. And I don't mind it. I mean, I enjoyed it while I warmed it. So this was a lilac, lavender, powder, butter, and sponge sugar kind of a scent. I don't know. All I pretty much smelled was like that powderiness, but it wasn't bad. Like I've had much stronger like powder scents. Like this wasn't like baby powder. It was more of a feminine like perfumey powderness but it is strong on the powder scent um I thought this was gonna be like a really strong powerhouse and it was good don't get me wrong like I would say it was like a medium to strong scent but I remember having like an American made wax co powdery scent and that was like the strongest thing I have ever smelled like I usually I typically hadn't gotten great throw from American made wax co but that one was like blew me out of the house with a powder scent like leaked out of the bathroom into the bedroom into the living room strong so for some reason I associate that powder with like every powder scent I guess and this one like don't get me wrong it was a good performer but it didn't like leak out of my bathroom but it was good I smelled it when I walked in so yeah and I have a full size clam of that um the next ones I will do is so I have one from Little Blue Coop Soap and this was a like bar in colder weather, sweater weather, vanilla bean noel, peppermint twist. This was good. Again, like 
it leaned more of that like herbal peppermint peppermint leaf scent to me so I guess maybe her peppermint twist is more of that like peppermint leaf kind of a scent um so yeah it was okay that's all I smelled I didn't really get like the sweater weather scent note this was mainly strong on like the peppermint peppermint twist I guess so it was okay I enjoyed it while I warmed it wouldn't be a repurchase a few L3 samplers or samples. So the first one is Christmas PJs. I really enjoyed this. This was very strong. This lasted all day long. I did this in um, one of our bathrooms. Let it go the whole day. I think even into the next day, like that's how strong it was. But it was mainly just laundry. This was two tiny, tiny pieces and it was great. I thought like I wasn't going to smell it because it was like literally tiny pieces, but I really enjoyed that. And then Cupcakes at Tiffany's Eggnog Malo Fireside Plum. This was very heavy on the plum and I actually really liked it. I like the plum scent note and that's, I think plum kind of like cranberry reminds me of a good like winter fruit. I don't see a whole lot of plum from vendors though. Um, but if I saw a plum scent from L3, I would maybe give it another try. But yeah, no sort of chocolate toffee note from the cupcakes at Tiffany, Tiffany's. It did not get an eggnog note. Pretty much just the fruitiness from the plum. Two items from my vill Villainous Wax Halloween sampler. Um, one was Bly Manor. One was Bag of Bugs. I won't talk about these too much because you can't get these. At least I don't think. This was from the sampler. Um, they were good. This one um, was mainly like the mistletoe sp sprigs. Um, and that's pretty much all I got. And then this one was mainly like a deep pine tree, kind of an earthy scent. It was all right. I enjoyed it while I warmed it. Um, I had a sample from a Soul's Inspiration in Red Hot, which basically smelled like, you know, a Red Hot candy or like a hot tamale candy. And it was really good and it was really strong. This is one I did in the bathroom and it like kind of leaked out into the closet and sort of like the beginning area of our bedroom. Um... I like a good red hot scent. I don't need a ton of it, but I definitely enjoyed that while I warmed it. We have a few things from my Body's Harmony winter advent calendar. The first one is Silent Night. Roasted pine cone, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla bean noel. This was okay. I'm really not a huge fan of pine cone, I kind of come to realize. So this was okay to me. Um, and I also don't feel like this one was super, super strong. I didn't really notice it too much. Again, sometimes with scents that I don't, love on cold I don't really mind that I don't smell it too much on warm um but yeah that one personally I didn't get like the greatest throw but on the opposite end of the spectrum this one is evergreens full of snow balsam and cedar sparkling evergreens and palo santo this was really good and surprisingly I loved it because I don't like I said I'm already kind of over the tree notes and I don't love palo santo but I think number one I got that sparkling evergreen it was beautiful. I don't know if sparkling evergreen, like I'm not sure entirely what comprises of that, but I don't know if the sparklingness was like a sparkling berry mixed with evergreen because it kind of smelled like there was a sweetness that almost maybe made me think of like a berry or like a spark, like a sparkling berry or a sparkling, I don't know, some kind of fizzy sparkling drink in with the evergreen. I'm not sure. This was so good and really strong. I smell it really strong in both of our bathrooms. So I really like that. The only bummer about Bodies Harmony is like the quantity of her items is pretty small. So if you like something, you have to buy like multiples of it because a lot of them are like really small little like um like shape bags or things like that. Like I haven't really noticed on her website like loaves or anything really bigger than like a few ounces um so I actually have a body's harmony haul I need to film um I picked up a few things during Black Friday on her like Christmas Black Friday release and I noticed that too the last couple of restocks they're just they're just small quantities so if you like something you have to pick up multiple of it just to let you know and another thing is like it's not like L3 she doesn't have super super often restocks so um I don't know if you like something you kind of have to snag like a customs with her and then you can like probably request that same scent like if I really like this 
you, you know, I could do like a custom with her and have her repour it, but I'm not sure how often she actually like will bring back scents. Maybe it's just yearly. I'm not quite sure. I've only ordered from her a couple times since the summer. I really like Bodies Harmony so far. I, I tend to get pretty good throw. So I actually did do some custom. So I'm hoping to do that Bodies Harmony haul tomorrow, maybe. But anyway, the next one is Columbia Candle Supply Caramel Nog. I guess this is a Yog Nog type. Um, I don't know what Yog Nog is. I'm assuming this is supposed to be like an eggnog scent. I didn't really smell anything on cold. And again, I didn't really smell anything on warm. So I wouldn't get that again. Last bundle we have here. Guys, this is why I'm like, yeah, I cannot wait till the whole month of December and do my Christmas stuff then. Like, that video would be like two hours long if I did that. Um, I have quite a few things from American Made Wax Co. Because I had, I had gotten a few mystery bags from her and each mystery bag I got so much of the Harry Potter Advent stuff. The first one is Courage. I'm not sure what the scent notes are in here. They don't say it. But this was like... I think kind of an orange peel cinnamon like potpourri kind of a scent at least that's what I got on cold this was okay um not a powerhouse I smelled it lightly on warm yeah it was okay I have spew spew I don't know what that even means but it's some kind of Harry Potter reference I don't know what this was supposed to be it smelled faintly of like a Christmas spice kind of a scent but I literally didn't smell anything on warm then I have two of You're a Wizard. This was like, again, I have no idea what it was supposed to smell like, but it just, it smelled like some kind of Christmas time scent on cold. Definitely wasn't like my favorite kind of a scent. And it was just a very, very light scent throw in the bathroom. It was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it or anything. I don't even know if you can repurchase that because at this point that was from like, yeah, a year ago. So um, I'm not going to talk about this too much because this says unreleased three, but funnily enough, this was like one of the best performing American Made Wax Co. items that I had, and you can't even get this because it's unreleased, but I really liked it. It was a really nice, clean kind of laundry scent because of that like cotton tree scent note, I think. Um, this was from her like Touring America collection. This is Didn't You Know You're My Hero. This was really good too actually it was more like masculine than tree and woodsy i put this in here because of like the mossy the mossy sandalwood bergamot pine but um i thought it was more of a masculine cologne like scent and actually this was a pretty medium throw i definitely smelled it and then we have oh tannenbaum um this is like a woody earthy kind of a scent on cold but i didn't really smell anything on warm so yeah so that is the first half of my winter collection wax melt empties that i wanted to share with you guys um i hope you guys enjoyed look forward to like a part two of my winter empties collection that one i'll probably do towards the end of december like i said i'm not sure that'll probably be be just as long so I don't know if I'm going to include like what I have left of my Christmas wax stash or if that'll just end up being like a little short video by its own or on its on its own but anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys had a great weekend and I hope you're having a great Sunday evening and I will see you in my next video